Okay, so we're in our kitchen right now and it's time to wash the bok choy. So I just have my little strainer colander, like a spinner basket. I just stick them all in here. Put a salt just to help with the cleaning. And you just want to sit there and clean them really well. Since we didn't actually harvest the whole plant, they should be cleaner than if you harvested the whole plant. Because it seems like the base always holds a little bit more dirt than the outer leaves. They seem to be a little bit cleaner sometimes. Okay, so I just wanted to show you kind of all the, the dirt that's going on inside the water. So you just want to always make sure that you sit there and wash your vegetables really well uh, prior to cooking. Because you can see that there's quite a bit of grit in there and just kind of gross stuff. There's like a little bug there. Anyway, so you just don't want that in your cooking. So we're going to do one more rinse and just like kind of rinse uh, just water over the actual leaves. And then we'll be slicing these up. Okay, so now we are actually going to be cutting uh, up the bok choy. So the stem usually takes a little bit longer to cook than the actual leaves. So you want to cut the stem off and start cooking them first and then throw in the leaves once the stem starts actually cooking. And I just stack these up here. That and then they just cut that like that and then put this aside and then we will cut those in a little bit. After we start the actual them on the stove and I have a bowl over here just to throw in my actual stems part okay so we cut up all the stems and now it is time to cut up our leaves a lot of times just rolling it will help cut up a lot more at once If you want to cut this way, that's fine. I like to have it looking like that, so I'm just going to leave it. Let's see how many I can roll up here. I think that's probably about it. So you just try to roll up as many as you can. Okay, so now that we are done cutting up all the leaves on the bok choy, it's time to throw the stems onto the stove so I'll show you how we do that okay so we're over by the stove and I am going to be turning my stove on to medium to low you don't want it too high because you just don't want anything to burn and just you know a slow cook is better uh, most of the time anyways I've learned that through my younger ages of burning everything I used to cook just to keep it simple and keep it on low to medium so right here I actually have, I don't even think you can see that, but it is actually an olive oil. It is uh, like extra virgin and this is actually an organic olive oil that I actually have in here. I just refill this one glass jar with our organic olive oil. So I just sit there and put a little bit on the bottom and then spread it around just to get a nice coating. And if you need a little more, just put a little more. And all of this will be absorbed into the bok choy. Okay, so now that we have the olive oil heating up, we are going to take a spoonful of minced garlic. So this could be garlic out of your garden, or this could be garlic out of a jar from the store. Doesn't really matter, as long as it's minced. I'm going to sprinkle that in there. We're going to have this 
the garlic heating up for a little bit and then we're going to throw in the stems. Okay, so now we're just going to be throwing in the stems. And bok choy is so good for you. It's such a healthy option and with the garlic and everything it just makes it taste pretty good. Okay, so we're just going to sit there and let that cook for a little bit. And they seem to be softening up. So what I'm going to do at this point is actually throw in our cut uh, leaves, the part that we've already cut up here, and throw in the rest. And then this will actually heat up and it will shrink down quite a bit. And if you need to, you could also add some more oil. And I've already pre-cooked some brown rice for this, so we're just going to have this over or next to some brown rice. And it'll just be an, a healthy alternative if just actually eating out of your garden. You could actually do the same recipe with other greens like uh, Swiss chard or collard greens or you know any of those other leafy types of greens also. You could do the exact same thing with those. But today since my, my bok choy was growing and getting pretty big I just decided just to do the bok choy today. Okay, so that looks like it is nice and done. We're going to turn off the stove and next we are going to be adding a little bit of, it is basically oyster sauce. I don't know if you can see that. So it's oyster flavor sauce. This is the Panda brand and this was recommended to me from my friend Lulu on how to make this. So we're going to take a little bit of this and then put it on here. Okay, so I just need to finish mixing all of the oyster sauce in and I don't think I'm going to add any more because that looks like a good amount. So next we will be putting this on our brown rice that I already have pre-cooked. Okay, so now that I have my brown rice all ready, we'll just sit there and put this right on top. And there we go. That is how we prepare uh, a bok choy. And you could just add it to rice or you could eat it alone or just however you want it. Okay, that's it. That's how we make and prepare our bok choy that we harvested from our garden today. And I hope you guys have a good night. And I just want to do a quick shout out to my friend Lulu on who taught me how to actually originally do this recipe. It is delicious and thank you so much. And for everyone else, Thank you for subscribing, and if you have any questions or any comments, just leave it in the comment section below. And I hope to see you guys next time. Love you guys. Bye. Garden is growing new food, mm -hmm. and we don't have it to shop. Mm-hmm. Let's go. We can grow our own food, right? We or we could just go shop on, right? Mom, no, we, we don't want to always have to shop. Hey, Mom, we're this out or eat it.